What's going on, everybody? It's just another day in the kitchen, back with another episode, and today I'm asking you the question, would you sell your personal friends and family pair of sneakers? If you're not too familiar, over the past week, the Nike Tiffany Air Force One collab finally came out, but it was the sale of this friends and family pair of sneakers for $8,000 that really caught my attention. If you're asking yourself what are friends and family pairs, companies have been doing it forever where they basically give celebrities and influencers their product early in advance. This is Kylie Jenner wearing the unreleased at the time Adidas Yeezy Turtle Dove, which really got everybody's attention after Kanye moved to Adidas. This is LeBron James modeling the upcoming Air Force One before they had come out as well, and he's wearing the Tiffany's official uh, collaboration merch as well that gets people hyped. So as you guys can see, that's basically what happens. The pair on the left here is the actual friends and family pair, and as you can see compared to the retail pair on the right, it's not a whole lot different, but it's definitely special. Most of the time, friends and family pairs resemble the original sneaker, but they're just that they're supposed to be reserved for friends and family. The color itself I think is pretty dope on this pair, but we're not just going to be talking about them, and I wanted to really just reference it as the most recent example. So basically with the pair, the black pair that originally came out, they retailed for $400, and now they're reselling for upwards of $1,200 for some pairs. Like I mentioned, celebrities are often given pairs early, and in this case, Tiffany reached out to Carmelo Anthony to provide him with a special pair. Not too bad for a guy that didn't win a ring in his career. As you can see, the box is a little bit different. Here they are reaching out to Erling Holland. If you're not familiar, he's a celebrity soccer player for Manchester City, and here he is wearing his friends and family pair as well. On the surface level, that pair that sold for $8,000, it's the same kind of pair that Erling is wearing right here, but essentially somebody that was given that pair then went and sold them. The most famous example I can think of in most recent times as well is Travis Scott. Here he is modeling the Friends and Family Air Jordan 4 purple colorway, which has never actually hit the retail market. Whenever you do see a pair hit the actual secondary market like StockX or end up in a store like Flight Club, you see crazy numbers like this. As you can see, they last sold for $26,000. And so what that means is somebody very special or close to Travis Scott who he deemed worthy actually sold their pair. And this leads me to another example, that pair of yellow Travis Scott 6s that you can see uh, offset from the Migos wearing and holding right here were officially given to him by Travis Scott and they're the only pair in existence. If these were to then hit the market, Travis would know that essentially Offset sold them and it makes me wonder, do you think celebrities or brands like this, do they care when their friends and family actually sell them? And that's why I'm kind of asking you guys, imagine putting yourself in Travis's shoes and going into a sneaker store like this, Urban Necessities, and seeing somebody's friends and family pair that you gifted them, hoping that it would be just for them, end up on the shelves. Now, another famous example in the most recent times is Virgil Abloh before he passed away with Louis Vuitton. Rest in peace to my guy, here he is. But he made a, a mission for the Air Force One collab for there to be an actual limited edition run. He called it the list, and as you can see, everybody from LeBron James to DJ Khaled and Eminem actually got a pair, but some people like Meek Mill were left wondering why they didn't receive theirs. The special edition pairs included eight different colorways, and I included just a couple for you guys to see, but just again so you guys understand the premise, Virgil Abloh designed these Nike Air Force Ones for Louis Vuitton, and he purposely picked eight colorways that would only go to certain celebrities. Now, the most famous friends and family pair that I can think of in my time in sneaker reselling has to be the Fragment Air Jordan 1 that released in 2014. They're not too crazy, but if you can see, there's a little lightning bolt that's kind of imprinted down on the heel of either sneaker, and that's what really makes these special. As you can see, they're reselling for $10,000, and it begs the question, would you sell your pair? Let me know in the comments what you think and what you thought of this video so far. Honestly, I don't know what I would do in the sense that if I really was strapped for the cash and somebody gifted it to me, of course I would want to take it. And I feel like in that kind of instance, they can't really fault me, especially when it's like those Travis Scott 4s or something like that. But on the other hand, I get it could be kind of sentimental and weird. Like, why would you give away a pair that was only meant for you? So again, that's why I made this video and I wanted to get your guys' opinion. If you made it this far, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Let me know what your favorite friends and family pair is and if you would sell them. And thanks for watching, guys. Stay safe and thanks for cooking with the kitchen. Peace.